Hello friends and welcome back to my studio. I have a different type of experiment for you today than I've done before and it was inspired by an artist named Drew Oshot. I hope I'm saying that name right. I'll link his Instagram below but he's been doing some really amazing, um, I'll call them scrape paintings for lack of a better term, um, and I had been looking for ways to build on some of the gradient work that I've been doing and I just thought this would be a really interesting way to add to that. So I'm going to change my camera angle. I will show you what I've done up to this point to get this canvas ready and then we'll just get to painting, okay? Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll call it golden. Golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow him golden 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 things gold hair gold ring And here I'm applying my first layer of the violet to gray gradient. So with the first layer, I don't do that much blending because I'm going to come over with another top coat to, and that one I will work to get really well blended. Um, the violet I'm using here is Amsterdam red violet. Uh, or permanent red violet mixed with a little bit of burnt umber to give it a little more of an earthy tone. And then the gray color is, I believe it's just Liquitex neutral gray or yeah, neutral gray. So um, I do that first layer, get it nice and dry. And then I come in with the second layer. And here you'll see me doing more blending. And I use a couple of dry brushes to do that. And it really is important to have some extra dry brushes on hand um, because even on a small project like this, I think I ended up going through three brushes um, <clears throat> to get things as uh, nicely blended as I wanted it to be. Oh, 
forgot to hit the camera, hit start on the camera. So let's do this again. My colors are Artist, Artist Loft Metallic Silver, Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet, Liquitex Blue Gray, and Blick Paints Gray. So what I'm doing is I have my palette knife and I am just loading the palette knife with the paint straight out of the tube. Now, I will tell you a couple of things that I made a mistake on um, that did not help me out and made things a little bit more difficult is I forgot to re-wet um, the back of the canvas and get the canvas really, really tight. After I had finished doing my gradients, the canvas had sat for a couple of days. And whenever a canvas sits for a couple of days, it will loosen up slightly. It's one of those things you won't visually see it, but it will depress more in the center when I'm pressing. Um, and I'm not sure if you'll see that on camera, but it was something I was fighting a little bit. And then the other thing that I would say that I'll change next time is using more paint. Um, it took a little more paint than I thought it was going to, so I'll probably start with a little more paint than I did with these. So what you'll see is I just kind of keep layering and working it until I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and yeah, so I really love doing this and I will definitely do it again. Um, I have to say it's, it's scary doing, um, this sort of experiment over a canvas that I spent so much time prepping, but I'm really happy with it. There's probably some things I'll change with composition as well, but again, overall, I'm just really happy with how this turned out and it was a lot of fun to do something different. We are with a little walkthrough of the dry results and like I said overall I'm really happy with this I'm not sure if you're getting that really cool shimmer from the silver in the video or not I think it shows up down here a little bit more but I love that silver and Payne's gray together so I think I'm gonna do something more with that um, and you can see here where I probably should have had the palette knife loaded a little bit more, but I think it's still a really interesting effect. So I'm not unhappy with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the description below. I'm always happy to help and I hope you have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.